Um, what about these four Jordans if I bought these off you? Yeah, 20 bucks, man. My friend, I'll do that for you. Yep. Let's do that. Well, I've just got back home, guys. It was an awesome morning out in the flea market today. I recorded everything, and if you're here for the first time, I'm selling all of this stuff that I'm finding in this video today on eBay. It's what I do as a full-time job. I'm trying to make a profit. I'm trying to sort around these flea markets to find really cool items, and I'm gonna bring it to you in this video as well. If you get any enjoyment out of it, remember to hit the like button. Let's dive into it. I'll show you what I'm picking up. I wonder if we get up for a bit less. How about this old hat? Oh, $5. Five on that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the new era. Yeah, I'll do five bucks for that, mate. Okay. Yeah, this is sweet. Two dollars. I oh, know. How much? 50 cents, I think they say. Okay. That's awesome. So DVDs are all a dollar. Are a dollar each? Okay, mate. Thank you. Hatfield's in the corner, I think that'd be all right. DVD and a hat there. How, yep. much, how much we got on that? Three bucks. Three bucks. No worries. What do you think? I'm gonna pass. You're passing? Yeah. But, um, Bloody good though. It is good. I don't like to leave this sort of stuff behind. Say, you'd have to have a decent clean and got some nice all over it too. Yeah. I don't like leaving it either. But... This is gonna be a risk. I'm gonna do it. You can grab it, yeah. I just don't want to put it back on the shelf. You don't see this stuff too often. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. You too. Whenever I'm looking for DVDs like this, I'm always looking for TV series. And as you can see by what I'm finding, there's actually really good bundles of TV shows here and they're all 50 cents a piece. And the comps are telling me I should be making around about $100 on this lot. Guys, I've got 10 DVDs here. Five bucks, all good? Thank you, sir. Hey, guys. Good, you? Yeah. 2,000. Oh, Jack Pacific. I actually think they're cool because they've got the belt. Yeah. I guess you're just going to know which one's popular or not. Yeah. I'd, um, I'd almost just ask for a cross on all. How much for the whole box, mate? Yeah, the whole uh, 20. 20. In the end, we ended up walking away from all of these. Even the Simpson characters are $20. They need a lot of cleaning. They need a lot of work done to them. And I'm not 100% sure on the resale value. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Not bad. Mm. I'm surprised by Forza. Yeah, special two. Oh, there's two of them? Yeah. Would you do it as a bundle? Uh, no. No? They're better enough to sell individually. Even to save on postage? Um, I think because they're going for like 25 each, postage is just going to worry about it. Because it's just, yeah, 4 Especially with only 3 bucks. Yeah. Not too bad. Well, mate, that's a, that's a great little, great little grab. That's what they sell for. Yep. Um, but I think there was like a thousand cards in the set. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you've got to shell out a few bucks to try and complete your set, don't you? True. Um, and then the sets now only go for sort of, from what I've seen anywhere, sort of, so another, that's another 14 months worth. Well, hey, a lot of people are out of work at the moment, yeah. so to have a contract of any kind is a good thing at the minute. It's pretty good, man. I was lucky, actually. I could have taken the easy path and gone and worked with another mate of mine and literally done nothing. But, um, yeah. 
It wasn't. Um, what about these four Jordans if I bought these off you? Yeah, 20 bucks, man, for you. My friend, I'll do that for you. Yep. Let's do that. Stick around to the end because I'll give you a bit more information on why I bought those four Michael Jordan cards. Yeah, that's sick. <coughs> What's on the side? Mm. How much on these shoes? Five. Five? No worries. Yeah. How much on the shoes? 40 on those. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah. Never been worn too from the looks of it. Pardon? Never been worn. Hardly ever been worn. Yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yeah. They're about 170 on eBay, which you can get them. 170 on eBay. I know I had no idea it was that good. How much on the DVDs was it? It was three dollars each, five for ten. I'll see if I can find five. Make it easier. <laughs> In there. <laughs> yeah, there are some, aren't there? Yeah. I remember Wallace and Gromit when I was growing up. Yeah. <laughs> I used to love that show. That was awesome. That yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. I like that with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, the Ninja Turtles yeah. as well. Any other Ninja Turtles? I noticed you had that one. No, that's all good. That's yeah. the only one? Yeah. It's a great show, that one. It was good. Got my five, I'll give you ten for those. How much on the DVDs, mate? Two bucks. Two bucks? No worries. This whole corner over here is two dollars for actually everything you can see. Oh wow, that's not bad. Just trying to clear out the garage. Oh, I hear you, mate. Yeah. Got the two DVDs there, mate. No Look at these. Well played. Ready How much? Six bucks. Six dollars. Yeah. That is an absolute yeah. win, my friend. Not much going on. a little bit there. But... Jeez, have a look at the duffel bag that you're rocking too. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, the everyday flipper. Look at that advertisement. Go and get that boy signed up. Well played. Well played. So there you go guys, there was a lot of DVDs in this week's run and it's not always the case, but today they were just standing out to me. This one here though, I actually wasn't aware that it was worth the $65 that I've showed you in the comps a little earlier. That is an absolute bolo for you guys to be looking out for. Um, the vintage hats as well, I mean, I absolutely love finding these and you get them for pretty cheap um, when you're in the fleet. So I bought them for what, $7 in total and I reckon I'll be able to sell them for $35 a piece. So we're talking about $70 worth of value there. How cool was that Ford Performance Racing jacket? The comps actually surprised me when I got back home. I'm thinking about 200 bucks for it, but I did want to have a chat to you about these uh, Michael Jordan basketball cards. They're not worth a lot of money, and I did know that at the time, but I was having a really good conversation with the guy that was selling these, and he does do a lot of basketball cards, and I'm interested in getting into this space and learning a little bit more about it. So even though these cards are probably only gonna get me my money back off what I bought them for, I'm building the relationship with him to actually go ahead and maybe do a bit of a wholesale big bulk purchase down the line. So I think when it comes to these sort of relationship building exercises, it's always nice to just throw a few dollars their way um, when you are in conversation with them in the early stage. Ages. So that was kind of my reasoning for wanting to go ahead with these. They are in excellent condition and they are in their hard covered casings as well. So I have no issues with the fact that they should go on to sell in a quick, pretty quick space of time. I'm thinking about $40 free postage. It might only make me about 5 to $10 in the end. But like I said, with building relationships, it's a much bigger plan in place 
for these guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, another fun morning out in the flea. I'm going to list all these DVDs up really quickly and hopefully get them sold for a few hundred dollars because that's what it's all about. If you enjoy this flea market style content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give the video a like as well. That'd be very much appreciated. We'll be back on Tuesday for some what sold items as well. So hopefully you can join me for that episode. Look forward to catching you then, guys. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you soon.